If the patient doesn't want to take statins, what would you recommend to help lower inflammation and how would that patient best measure if indeed his or her inflammation has been lowered? So again, when you go back and you think about the most common driver for inflammation is insulin resistance, then you start looking at measures of insulin resistance. And Kevin covered those in his own experience, looking at an OGTT, oral glucose tolerance test, an insulin survey, using a CGM, continuous glucose monitor, freestyle Libre. Those are all ways to measure what's going on in terms of the most common drivers of inflammation. There's a thing that we call cardiovascular inflammation panel. We look at microalbumin creatinine ratio, LP, PLA2, called PLAC2. We also look at myeloperoxidase. PLAC2 and myeloperoxidase are actually enzymes that are released by our own immune cells when it's trying to attack and dissolve plaque in our artery walls. C-reactive protein is the most commonly assessed biomarker of inflammation, but those are the ones that we look at. There are others that are available like IL-6 and some of the others. But again, you get a pretty good picture with these. Mm -hmm. And what do you take? Like we said, lifestyle is king. There's a whole lot to do with lifestyle. Now, there are supplements that help. There are medications that help. For example, vitamin D3, not only prevention of COVID-related problems, but perhaps because of, what, of the next thing, maybe that's why it helps with COVID. It does have a lot of evidence indicating it decreases insulin resistance. So it's a very important mm -hmm. supplement. There are others as well, cinnamon, K2, some things like that. Metformin. And metformin, yes. Why wait for a disease and hope for a cure? I used to be an ER doc. My name is Ford Brewer. I quit ER after a few years because it was just so frustrating. Most of the things bringing people into the ER are things that should have been prevented, including heart attack, stroke, number one cause of death, number one cause of permanent disability. People think that you're just going to have those and that they're not predictable. Both of those are wrong. You, they are predictable and you don't have to have them. Usually it's lifestyle. Lifestyle is more important than supplements and even prescription drugs and even stents and surgery. But the current times are tough. Major financial impact with the lockdowns that most states have been going through. We've been working on a way to make this much more affordable with a subscription process. And that's exactly what we're announcing today. We've got two levels. One is the silver membership where you get access to our courses, a private webinar each month, and access to our supplement store and supplement recommendations and prescription. Or I would suggest even more so the gold membership. You can get a script for a Freestyle Libre and find out what your blood sugar metabolism is doing on a daily basis. And you can get a lab order for inflammation, OGTT, and insulin survey. You can also get a 30-minute one-on-one with me. So I'm looking forward to seeing you. Cost is no longer an excuse. So if you're interested, go to go.prevmedheartrest.com slash prevmed dash subscription or call us at 859-721-1414, 859-721-1414 or email us at myhealth at prevmedheartrest.com. Looking forward to seeing you. Thank you.